Hey all here at OS Reviews, you're watching our hands-on review of the Bizarre Smart Flower Pot. So this is a Bluetooth speaker, it's a mood lamp, and it's a very interesting conversation starter because there's a touch sensor in integrated onto the base of the pot where after you put in soil and some water, it conducts your touch and you can tap on the stem or the leaves of the plant and it will produce sounds from the speaker. The whole thing sells for just under $15, so it's also very affordable and I'll leave some links down below. And on the side here, you can see that it also has has what claims to be 360 sound, so sound seems to come, come out from all uh, of the various sides of the pot, and it does have an integrated battery that you can unplug from power, uh, and it will still work as a speaker. Um, it is a real pot, so you are able to put a real flower or plant inside. There's even a small hole on the bottom for extra water to drain out from, so again, a very interesting concept. It comes in a few different colors as well. And inside, we, seems, we seem to have just a few instructions printed directly on the box. On the very bottom, there is a micro USB cable for charging. The Bluetooth speakers, if you're using as a conventional speaker, will last for about six hours on continuous play before you need to recharge it again. And there's also user manual. Definitely very strange that you would need to charge up your flower pot. But uh, again, this is a very bizarre accessory or tech gadget. Um, so here is the pot itself. It is made out of a polycarbonate plastic material, so it feels uh, reasonably well constructed. This stem that protrudes is the part that conducts your touch. You can simply wave it within a certain proximity and it will start producing sounds. Here is the uh, part where water can drain out of if there's any ex excess water, and this is a speaker grill, it seems like on the bottom. Rubber feet that prevents it from sliding around on a surface or a desk, and this is the ring that uh, acts as a mood lamp. On the very back, you have access to a rubber flap that covers up the charging port to prevent water from leaking in. There's also a power switch, uh, a mode selection switch, a play pause key, and another key that you can tap on to change the colors of the mood lamp. So here's my quote-unquote soil. These are actually just filled with water um, instead of using real soil just because uh, I don't want this to be too messy and I can just gently pop this into the pot. And immediately you can see some of the excess water draining out from the bottom, so it is seem, seems to be pretty effective. Um, again, having this uh, design, just because you don't want to over water uh, your plants, just because the roots will get soaked. Jump cut, and as promised, I've put in some of these small bamboo shoots, and I've also activated the touch sensitive mode, which actually does work. So I powered it on, and when I get close enough within proximity, my hand at least, to the pot, which I now th think might also be heat activated in some way, it will start uh, playing one note at a time of various songs. Uh, the speaker right now is a little bit high in terms of volume, uh, so don't be alarmed, but let's give it a quick test. So the interesting thing is it is actually quite sensitive. You don't even need to be touching one of the leaves per se, just the rim of the pot, and it will actually sense your hand and uh, produce a note. Or you can touch the inside as well, or you can actually go quite high to one of the leaves directly, and it will also work. So if I kind of pan the camera towards the top here, and now touch the top of the leaves, you can see that it's still producing the note. You may also notice that each time you touch the pot, the LED ring uh, lights up for a split second and it changes to a different color. So this is actually kind of a fun interactive element. You can also tap on the mode key once to change the songs. So it's basically all classic songs uh, that it loops through. It's, there's about five to 10 different selections that you can cycle from. And now a test of the speaker quality connected to a smartphone using Bluetooth. Thank you. 
So takeaway from the audio quality is the speaker is so-so. It's definitely not the best Bluetooth speaker on the market. In fact, it doesn't have a particular deep punch in terms of the bass. It also distorts a little bit at higher volumes. Uh, that's kind of expected considering this is definitely a more novel uh, gimmicky uh, design. It's more meant as a conversation starter than something that you would use exclusively for audio or music listening. Finally, here's the third feature, which is using it as a dedicated mood lamp. It slowly oscillates between all of the various colors. It also has a more rapid mode where it simply transitions more abruptly between the different colors and it can work for over 20 hours without you having to recharge the battery again. So it is quite good in that sense. The mood lamp can also stay only on the white light as well. If you want it to be at the neutral color that you see right here, it has a slightly more yellowish tint, but uh, overall it's as close as it gets to white. And it, this is the mode where it also can be activated by touch using the, the plant as well. So you can turn it on or off simply by tapping on the plant. So for instance, if I tap on the stem here, now it's going to change into the mode where it goes through different colors, tap on it again to turn it off, and tap on the plant once more to turn it back on. So that's been the Smart Flower Pot, definitely more of a gimmick than anything to be taken seriously. But at this price, around $15, it really isn't bad if you just want to uh, place it on your desk and attract more people's attentions. Uh, it could be an interesting conversation starter. It, it's a decent mood lamp. It's an okay speaker. Uh, as well as for being a vase, it does hold plants and smaller uh, flowers without too many problems. And all the advertised features do work at this uh, relatively affordable price. So if you're interested, you can check out more details in the links down below. But for now, this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.